In this video, we're gonna be increasing our server memory limit within WordPress. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Let's take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. The reason I'm creating this video is I've been asked many a times how to increase the server memory limit uh, within WordPress. You might need to do this if you're running a plugin like WooCommerce or WooZone. Uh, sometimes these plugins, they put up a message that looks, uh, well, looks a bit like this, where it says your memory is currently 40 meg or something and it needs to be increased. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase that memory limit and um, yeah, sort that problem out. So let's get on a computer and take a look. So as I just showed you, this is probably the message that you're getting or something similar. It says your memory is uh, currently 40 meg or whatever and it needs to be higher. So uh, well, let's sort that out right now. In order to do this, you're gonna need a couple of things. The first is you're gonna need access to your um, hosting control panel thing. Now, if you followed one of my tutorials, you're probably using HostGator, uh, which is great. That's what I'm gonna be using in this video. But if you're not using HostGator, basically just log into your hosting control panel and uh, what you're looking for is your FTP account details which we'll come to in a second. The next thing you're gonna need is some FTP software. Now I use a piece of software here called Fetch, um, which is on the Mac, which I'd highly recommend. Uh, I think if you're on a PC, let me just have a look on Google. I think there's one called WinFTP, or is it Win? It's WinSCP, I always get this wrong. WinSCP, uh, download this thing here and uh, basically does the same things uh, that Fetch is gonna do on the Mac uh, and give you FTP access. Okay, so when you're in your hosting control panel, as I said, you're gonna need your FTP details. And within HostGator, you find that within files and folders and FTP accounts. Now, generally, it's gonna be the same um, login that you use to access HostGator. But you can come in here and just check. So the one I'm gonna be using is alex at zombiemerk.com. Uh, here's the server information I need. We're gonna need that in a second. And you're gonna need the password, which as I say is probably the same as the one you set up when you created your HostGating Host casing when you created your hosting account. Um, but if you can't remember what it is, you can always just go in and, uh, and change it so that you know what it is. <laughs> okay. So I've got my FTP software. Let's say if you're on a Mac, use Fetch. If you're on a PC, use WinSCP. And it's going to ask you for some information, which we can find from here. So the host name is the server. Host name, server, same thing. I'm going to paste that in there. The username is here. Password you're gonna to need to type in, or I don't need to, it's remembered, but yeah, put your password in there. <clears throat> and that's about it, then click connect. Uh, it takes you in here, basically what we're looking at here are all the folders and files that are on our hosting, uh, which make up our website. You wanna go into a folder called public underscore HTML. If you can't see that, it might be because you're already in it. If you can see this sort of stuff, WP uh, folders and WP files, then you're in the right place. What we're looking for is a folder, sorry, a file called uh, wp-config. Here it is. Now with Fetch you can kind of edit stuff on the fly, but uh, for this example I'm gonna show you how to do it kind of manually. What you're gonna do is take a copy of that file and put it onto your computer. So let me just find my documents folder. And I'm just gonna drag it. And there it is. And then I'm gonna edit this with well, it really depends on the software you've got. I've got Dreamweaver, which is some web development software. Uh, you may or may not have that. If you don't have that, something like um, your text editing tool uh, will be fine. So here's my WP config file. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a line uh, at the top here. Well, when I say at the top, underneath these stars. And the line is define, uh, and then a bracket, and then a speech mark. Now, what you wanna be careful of, and I've just noticed that it's done it, um, is that it's made it a kind of opening speech mark, which is not gonna work. It needs to be one of these straight speech marks. I don't know how to actually enter one of them with my keyboard. So make sure that you know what you're doing on that. No. Um, aha. There we go, if I use the control key, it's kept it a straight one. So within there, we're gonna type uh, after speech mark, WP underscore memory, underscore limit, underscore, no, no more underscores. Uh, another speech mark, again, make sure that it's a straight one. And then a space, and then another speech mark. And then 128 M, which basically is our memory, so 128 meg. And then another speech mark, make sure it's the straight one. 
bracket semicolon. Uh, so there we go, that's what we need. So let's save that. And then I just need to copy that file back onto FTP. So I'm just gonna drag it from my computer back onto FTP software. And there we go, that should be all done. So if we go back here and refresh our website, our desktop, not our desktop, our dashboard. Oh, it didn't like it. Hang on, let me just double check what we've done wrong. Ah, we've missed out a comma. Just need a little comma there. Let's try again, save. So if you get a weird error like this, it means that you've uh, you've made a typo or something. So I've updated that. Let's just copy it back again. And refresh. Ah, we can see that again, I've not got the straight speech marks, which I just said you need to make sure that you've got. Like that. There we go. Third time's a charm, as they say. Let's copy it back. And refresh. And there we go. Phew, that was that was harder than it needed to be. But as you can see, that memory message has gone. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please click the like button. Um, but until next time, uh, bye for now.